Mark, it ends here at Gateshead, a 3-1 defeat for the Glovers. What were your first thoughts of the 90 minutes? I thought we did really well. I thought uh, we were well in the game. Good game of football, two decent teams. We just gave two really soft goals away when we were probably on top. We started really well. And you can't give those goals away when you come away from home. And that was the difference between the teams. I mean, you say about those two they were soft goals, defensive errors right at the start. I was saying to Aaron beforehand, it offset you a bit. And you, you had good chances going forward. You had good opportunities. You looked a threat going forward. But, but those defensive errors really cost you. You can't, can't concede three goals away from home and expect to win. Um, but 2-0 uh, down, we kept doing our bit and kept doing what we do and we scored. And then we thought we'd scored again when Morgan hit the post and we were well in the game. And um, we got some really good sort of opportunities around their penalty area in the second half, but we didn't produce that final bit of quality, which would have got us a deserved point. Yeah, I mean, just, just after the goal, you have Aaron Jarvis get his header in, you get him put one just wide of the post, Morgan Williams hits the post. Um, you know, you were so close to getting back yeah. into the game and getting a foothold again. Yeah, I think that was pivotal. We go in at 2-2. Two -two. We, we probably had the more chances in the first half. Um, I mean, you go in at 2-2, two -two, it's game on, isn't it? And, you know, we had to gamble towards the end and try and press and get after them and flood bodies forward and then soft penalty and um, that was it. Do you look at this as if it's a 180 minute game and the fact that you managed the players, obviously you saw Aaron Jarvis come off after 45 for Frank and, and Sims obviously his minutes still being managed, Do you, is that how you look at it with yeah. the sort of two games so close? Yeah, at the minute I just feel as like what a waste, we've wasted nine hours on a coach getting here, we've wasted 96 minutes of expending our energy uh, for nothing when we deserve something out of the game so of course we tried to save some um, energy for with the substitutions for Monday but everybody's going to be in the same boat they're all going to be Rochdale I'm sure they'll be tired as well and we're not going to use that as an excuse Aaron Jarvis getting his first goal you must be delighted that he's got his first competitive goal and he's, he's off the mark with that yeah but like I said there's, there's other parts to his game that are, are really valuable to us he's, he's a handful he's a proper old-fashioned number nine that we you know everyone's crying out for and um, he never gives the centre half a moment. He scored a great header, and, uh, and they'll be fresh for for Monday. And the 157 travelling glovers making the trip up here, 12:30 kickoff. Some of them leaving at sort of three o'clock in the morning. I mean, they're nuts, but they do you proud. Yeah, that's the highlight of the day for us. To see that is really humbling, and the reception they gave us at the end. I think they appreciated the performance and the effort, and um, there's a real togetherness and spirit between the the supporters and the players and we have to keep that and we appreciate that as an immense effort for them today each and every one of them and uh, we really appreciate that and hopefully they'll be there on Monday cheering us on for for three points. Brilliant thanks Mark. Thank you.